Cut them off. Cut them off. We can't be friends with none of these people no more. What we need is to is a is a a community of black people that's only concerned with our well-being first and foremost. No beliefs, no ideologies, no sexuality, none of that stuff. No gender stuff. Just the well-being, the peace, security, the harmony of black people in the community. We need to be concerned with that first and foremost before we get into anything else. And if a person can't do that, if a black person cannot do that, cut them off. Do not be friends with them. Do not be friends with them. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. I remember when I was younger, a young revolutionary, I would tell everybody that there's going to be a day that's going to come when you're going to have to clean house. Because the biggest threat to you is not your open enemies on the outside. The biggest threat to you is the weak people that's next to you. Every chain is only as strong as its individual links. And when you got your when you are connected to a people and you got all these weak links all over the place, that chain is going to break. And that's what's been happening to black people as a so-called community for the last 20 years. We, we, we've been crumbling and breaking all over the place because we're too scattered all over the place. You know, this live and let live mentality that we have, it's time to cut that out. It's time to be more like the ideologue. Now, what do I mean by that? One of the things that I've always noticed, noticed about ideologues is that they don't have no qualms with destroying relationships. They have no qualms with cutting people off who don't think like they think or believe as they do. They have no qualms in clashing with complete strangers over their beliefs. None. And I'm talking about all of them. You clash with feminists over everything. Tell me I'm lying. You can't sit down and hold a decent conversation with a womanist, with a woman that's all into the womanhood, feminist type thing. You can't hold a decent conversation with them. Somehow the conversation always end up on some stuff dealing with women that ain't true. They, they stretch it all out of proportion. They make more out of them what it is. You know what I'm saying? And if you try to bring any type of balance to the conversation or clarity to it, it just turns into an argument. I can't tell you how many women I've met and within the first date or uh, trying to get to know each other stage, all of this feminist stuff come out and, 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 and it just turned the whole conversation turns, turns into a heated argument. It gets weird, man. So they don't have a problem with clashing with you. I've never met a single Hebrew Israelite that I can get along with. I've never met a more that I can get along with. I've never met, you know, uh, most Pan-Africanists. I, I, I don't think I've ever met a Pan-Africanist I can get along with. They are all crazy because they're all extreme. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very extreme to the point where they have no, they have no give and take anymore. The, there is no live and let live in the way they are. They want to beat you over the head with their beliefs until you capitulate and bow down or y'all gonna have a problem. You're either gonna surrender and, and submit or y'all gonna clash, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and they'll clash with you until it turns violent. I mean, they, they won't even back off. It, it's, it's a sickness. If you notice in the zombie movies, the zombies never eat people. They just bite them infect them with their disease or their virus and move on to the next person and that seems to be what everybody does in america everybody's just going around trying to infect people with their with their virus ideologues have no problem destroying relationships they have no problem clashing with people they have no problem cutting people off it's time for brothers like ourselves and sisters like myself it's time for us to stop doing this kumbaya we are all just black people thing because nobody else really believed that we are all just black people. Pan-Africanists don't believe that. That's why they don't respect no black person saying that we are indigenous Americans. This is why they have a problem with that. They see themselves as our elite, as our rulers. They are all 
go through college, they all get their degrees in Africana studies and all this crazy stuff. And they see themselves as our masters and ambassadors to white folk. But for them to hold that position, they need us subservient to them while they are subservient to white folks. And this is why they don't respect no black person that said, nah, but look, my family's already here in America. So, oh, no, you wasn't. Oh, no, you were We from Africa. That, that's why they like that. And they will clash with you, argue with you, man, you know, get into, go into blows with you behind what? Because you say that your family didn't commit slaves? What? Call you names, sell out, you know, you know, all kinds of crazy stuff, bro. It's weird. And they, and they have no qualms with doing this, bro. They are no better than people that get caught up in multi-level marketing companies. They will destroy every relationship they have around them if you don't fully get behind what it is that they are doing. And that's a problem. So we got to start saying, okay, if this is how you are, then we are not friends no more. Because you're telling me something about you. You're, you're telling me something about your state of mind. So we need to come to a point as black people that says any black person that votes for that madness, that votes over there with neo-Nazis and everything, any black person that does that, they are no longer part of the black community. You have crossed over. You are no longer black in the eyes of the black community. You are something else. Go be what you want to be and be proud. So on the flip side of that, we got to also say that any black person that tell you that they are casting their vote solely for immigrants, lesbians, and trans people, cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. Because see, they are really the same types of people as the black conservative. It's just that they are voting on a different side. But they're the same types of people. Cut them off. We can't be friends with none of these people no more. What we need is to is a, is a, a community of black people that's only concerned with our well-being first and foremost. No beliefs, no ideologies, no sexuality, none of that stuff. No gender stuff, just the well-being, the peace, security, the harmony of black people in the community. We need to be concerned with that first and foremost before we get into anything else. And if a person can't do that, if a black person cannot do that, cut them off. Do not be friends with them. Do not be friends with them.